This isn't an ordinary water balloon, it's filled with oobleck, and today we're going to shoot it, put fireworks in it, and toss it off of a building. So, let's get started. Oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid, which means it changes viscosity when a force is applied to it. For example, when I pour it into the container, it flows like a liquid. I can slowly put my hand in and it sinks in with no problems. But if we hit it with a hammer, it instantly turns solid and the hammer bounces right off. Now it's time for our first experiment, shooting this with a BB gun. First, let's find out when I shoot a regular water balloon. That little lead pellet zipped through the balloon and bounced off the back of the fence. And it looks pretty cool, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's exactly what you could predict would happen. So what do you think will happen when I shoot the Ublek balloon? Now it's time to shoot the Ublek balloon. Instead of a nice clean puncture, you get a ripping, tearing, and cracking effect caused by that little lead pellet quickly dumping all of its energy into the cornstarch. All right, so now we're gonna try throwing firecrackers into the oobleck. So I've got a little pile of firecrackers here, the bowl of oobleck here, and I'm gonna light it and just toss it in there and we'll see what happens. Placing a firecracker about an inch below the surface gives a pretty dramatic effect and explosion, but placing a firecracker at the bottom of the container, well, it gives more of an earthquake. That last one completely covered my camera and everything. Well, I had an idea to try to hit the oobleck with a tennis racket. I was curious to see if it remained a liquid or if it turned solid and just bounced off the racket. Let's find out. It turns out the oobleck isn't strong enough to harden and resist the tennis racket. It pretty much just gets diced up. All right, so here I am on top of the building with the balloon full of oobleck. Now, if you drop a balloon full of water on the ground, it'll just explode and go everywhere in every direction. So we're gonna drop this Ublik balloon and see what happens. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Amazingly, the balloon didn't pop even from a height of 30 feet, but I think I know how to fix that. I'll just remove the blue tarp. Well, there you go. It just stops dead as soon as it hits the ground and it slowly melts onto the ground in the next couple of seconds. Well, that's it for this week's Slow Motion Saturday. If you've got a cool idea, drop it down below in the comments section and I'll give you a shout out for next week if I try the idea. Until then, speculator guys.